hello. Sounded a bit like Marcus Butler there. Hello. Let's not do that. Emma Blackery wanted me to do a video which is about turn-ons and turn-offs, which is a tag video, but not in the way you're thinking. So things that I really like about a guy, or things that kind of put me off. Yeah. So you're going to see two indications in this video, a green dot, which you can see there, or a red dot, which you can see there. The green means I like it, the red means I don't. It's kind of simple like that, so let's roll with it. Rolling. Something I really like in guys is PDA, and that stands for Public Display of Affection. And I'm not talking about those couples that you see in the street just making out up against the wall, because that's that's not very nice to witness, to be honest, is it? It's a bit... I'm more talking about the sort of holding hands, the cute stuff like that. It's nice to feel wanted and appreciated as someone's girlfriend. But nobody loves me, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> One of my first turn-offs is guys that are football fanatics. I find football ridiculously dull. I couldn't sit for a football match. I find it really boring on the TV. It's just not fun watching a guy kick a ball around a pitch. Balls. The next turn-on is being creative, whether that's musical or art or making videos. I think it's important to have a guy that has the same interests as me, otherwise, yeah, it'll get a bit boring quite fast. So being creative is probably one of my main do's. My second turn off is guys that think it's okay to separate you and their friends. Like, they keep you separate from each other. Like, why? That I find that really rude. I've had, I had an ex-boyfriend that did that once, and it's just like, that's like leading two lives, and it's really antisocial. I don't like that. The next one is probably personal appearance in terms of grooming and being well looked after. And I'm not talking about being really arrogant and spending about an hour in front of the mirror, that, that's not so cool. But if a guy takes pride in how he looks, then I think that's nice. Oh, and don't get me started on aftershave. Oh my god. Oh, these girls that will literally just turn into a puddle of ugh if a guy wears a really nice aftershave. I love nice smells. <laughs> I remember one of my relationships I was in, I went to a supermarket and bought the same aftershave that he used just so I could smell him more often, which actually sounds kind of creepy, but it wasn't. It wasn't. He just smelled really good. Moving on. Third and probably most important turn off is dishonesty. I really pride myself on being trustworthy and honest, and if the guy can't do that, then there's just really, it's not gonna work. Trust and honesty is literally the core of every relationship. It's like the cement that holds it together. And if you don't have that, and they're dishonest, or they lie to you, then your relationship is just gonna disintegrate and fall apart, and yeah, there's no room for dishonesty. So, yeah. Fourth turn on are guys that are good at being spontaneous. I'm not one for surprises, but if they're cute sort of days out, like, oh, we're going to go walk along a canal today, or go to the park, or go to a castle, then those things I really, really like. They're really sweet. Um, it's just nice. Not that I'd be asking guys to take me out all the time. I'm quite happy staying at home with a duvet and a film. But sometimes it's just nice to go outside, because I'm indoors a lot, so those sort of things are really sweet. The fourth turn off is being messy, and I'm not just talking about being a little bit untidy, it's more the sort of uncleanness, like really filthy environment. I pride myself on my environment. Yes, it may be messy sometimes, but it's always clean. The fifth turn on is sort of describing how I like my boys to look. That sounds like I'm a pimp. I'm not a pimp. I don't have lots. I don't have any boys. My fifth turn on is probably more describing how I like my guys to look. Basically, what is my type in terms of appearance? I've always gone for guys that are quite well built. And I'm not talking like... <laughs> not too skinny, but not fat. Just that nice medium. Something to cuddle. I like having snuggles. Did it work? Did my pulling face work? never works. Guys with dark hair and dark eyes, it's what I've always been attracted to. Fifth and final turn off is guys that are controlling, because I am my own person, as is the guy, and independence is important in a relationship, because if you're too, if you're too living in each other's pockets, then you lose your independence and you become very dependent on the other person, which is really unhealthy in a relationship. My sixth turn on is confidence. 
And I'm not talking about arrogance, I'm talking about the bantery cockiness. There's something about that which is just like, just, just take me, take me and my body right now, please. Thanks for watching guys, if you did enjoy that then don't forget to give it a quick thumbs up. I'm going to tag a few people to do their own video on turn-ons and turn-offs, and that's the lovely Charlie Skies, I, Brett, and of course you that's watching. Trust them being lied to about things, especially if you pride yourself. Fuck off phone, I was bloody filming. I'm going to freaking kill you, bitch! Sick bastard! Ow.